you had much experience in the Bay Area? Or is this your first time up here? Uh, other than coming up here and playing a couple times, uh, I was up here as a high school coach. I had brought a couple kids to Cal and, and to Stanford. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that now. <laughs> no, not Stanford. <laughs> no, but so I've been up here a couple times, but not a whole lot. What's your impression so far? Well, you know, when I first got out here, it was like 10 days in a row. My wife's from like the, she's from Puyallup, like outside of Tacoma. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought I'd move to Seattle, man. It was <laughs> raining for every day. And I was like, and finally, when she came to look at houses, it, the sun came out. So it's been great. You know, it really has. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, you see why it's a, it's a destination spot. I mean, obviously with everything that's going on, um, you understand why everybody wants to live here now. With that being said, I hadn't been able to do very much other than work. So uh, I'll get out here on spring break and uh, take my family. They're coming in tomorrow and be able to spend a little time here in the area and kind of see some things. So I'm looking forward to that. You're known as a guy that's had uh, a lot of involvement on the recruiting front more so than your typical coach. Is that sort of a passion of yours? Well, you know, you know at the end of the day, I'm a people guy, you know, and I, everything you do is based off of relationships. And I mean, so it, it, recruiting comes natural to me. Uh, I like to do it. Uh, obviously, I love coaching football. Uh, we never got into this, but it's just something that that's pretty natural to me. And once I think that I get a chance to sit down with with young people and, and spend some time, I, I think that it's it's worked out for me. So I don't know what you want to call that, but uh, I certainly enjoy it, and uh, you know, I've been fortunate with it. And you're coaching a group that they haven't had tight ends for a good <laughs> four years. How do you get that reacclimated into an offense? Well, I'll tell you what. It, it's it's I, I'm. Let me, let me put it to you like this. You're really getting to mold these guys the, the way you want them because they, they just haven't been used, you know? And so um, obviously we're starting at ground zero and it's really just from every little facet, the, the fundamentals, you know, you really got to start. Nothing is taken for granted in terms of just from the steps, their, their stance, you know, hand placement, knee bend, all of those things that you start off and assume that, you know, guys would know you've got you've to gotta really get to that. And so, uh, that's been uh, it's been fun just uh, get, getting going and getting started with that. And there's more responsibility as a tight end. You got to know blocking. And well, it is a unique patterns. position. Exactly right. You got to you know you're you're a hybrid. I mean, you're expected to do a lot of things. Be able to catch the ball. Be able to run routes. Be able to be strong enough to get in and and work on the offensive line and and combo block with those guys. Solo blocks on defensive ends. Uh, so I mean, it's, it, you've got to obviously be. Uh, a man for the job and uh, so there's some challenges with that so obviously uh, the great ones that's why they're hard to find the ones that can encompass and do all those things uh, obviously they're they're hard to find and what do you want to see out of your guys by the time spring break rolls around well I think you know progress you know what is that um, I'm not sure just yet I mean I, we made progress today you know from going yes or Monday excuse me going lateral with our steps to getting some vertical push and and knowing that hey we've got to get some some knockoff vertical just our hand placement being in the right spot our, our face being in the right spot on inside zone and, and just little things like that so seeing some of those things today um, it, it's 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 coming you have a couple of tight ends that join the class pretty much just before you Made, had an agreement with Cal. What have you been able to see on film with them coming in? You know what? I've watched a little bit, not a whole lot. I've been focused on really what we've got here. You yeah. know, I'll turn my attention to those guys as we get done with spring, we get into recruiting, and we start looking through the summer. And as we get ready for the fall, that's when I'll turn my attention to that. But right now, I'm just focused on the guys that we've got here, just trying to get them as good as possible yep. through these 15 practices. What has Coach Baldwin told you about the way they want to use tight ends well, in this offense? I, I tell you what, I think the one thing that I told Coach Baldwin when I was coming up here to take the job, I said, listen, you tell me how you want these guys coached and I'm going to coach them that way. You know, and, and obviously his reputation precedes him. And, and if you watch the film, which I've enjoyed doing over the, the month before we got out here to spring ball, you see that, that you're looking for versatile guys that can do a whole lot in his offense. And when he has those guys, he uses the heck out of them. And so that's our goal, you know, to get these guys here as good as we can. And what we are lacking, we will get on the recruiting trail. There are a few guys that are like that that have been receivers, inside receivers, sure. <laughs> uh, between Hudson and Laris in particular, guys have actually uh, who've done a little bit of that. Does that help having that type of versatile guy kind of there ready to go? Yeah, it, it, it certainly helps. I mean, you know, and I think guys are, are stronger in certain areas than others. But um, at the end of the day, yeah, having some guys that have some versatility and some experience, that obviously speaks for itself. What, has anyone... <laughs> anyone or anything stood out i know it's been it's you've had, you've uh, yeah. had five hours with them yeah and it's been a lot of individuals so it's really hard to say hey you know a lot of uh, plays on air mm -hmm. so i you know it's to i'd be lying to you mm -hmm. um 
you know, to say, uh, no. I mean, just because we've been so fundamentally based. And so I think as we get into more team stuff, I think we'll start to see guys separate themselves. The, the, has the, the kind of the task at hand been to rebuild everything from the ground up? Uh, Coach Baldwin said it's almost like dealing with freshmen in terms of terminology, not necessarily in ability and, and, and knowledge, but terminology <laughs> and sort of having to teach everything all over again. Mm -hmm. Have you kind of had to build everybody up from the ground up? Well, you know, and I mean, I get, I'm, I'm in there. I'm, I'm with them. <laughs> <laughs> I told my guys, hey, look, we're going to learn together. You know, I've been here three uh, now almost a month. But, you know, when I got here, I mean, I'm learning the offense just like they are. I'm teaching them. And at the same time, I'm teaching them. I'm learning. So, you know, I mean, that's, it's, the, that's the best right. way to learn. Right? Yeah, well, that's it. You know, and so I said, hey, we're, you know, the, one of the things I always talk about with my guys in the meeting room is, hey, we're, we're extensions of each other. You know, you go out there and look good. That's going to make me look good. We got there and look bad. We're all going to look bad together. So we're in this thing together one way or another for good, bad or indifferent. We're in it together. So uh, I said, look, you guys are going to learn and grow this spring. I'm going to learn and grow with you. You're going to mess up. I'm going to mess up. You know, we're, we're going to do it together. We'll get this thing figured out. And, and he's, and, you know, and, and that's what I love about Coach Baldwin is just exactly what he said is, you know, once you start seeing this, it's all new to these guys. It's, it's new to some of us coaches that are coming mm -hmm. from other spots. And that's what makes this thing so fun and challenging is that it, it is. It is a challenge that we will, we will handle and we will get conquered. But it's just, it's a process. It's not going to happen overnight.